It was a day of celebration in the forest. The animals had just chased away humans who planned to destroy their home and build a new highway. But the forest animals had thought back. Everyone had their own talents. Beaver's plants, moose's intimidating size, wolf's snarls and growls, and deer's strong kicks had all helped to scare away the humans. It looked like things could get back to normal in the forest. But the following day, the friends discovered something shiny and new in their forest home. It was big and square and was open at one end. Wolf could smell something and delicious inside. What is such thing as deer? Where did he come from? What the moose? I got there too close to wolf. One before? Oh, but it smells so good, Doug. Wolf. Smell like fresh meat was coming from inside the box. He couldn't help himself, but he stepped inside a door, slammed shut behind him. Oh no, it's a trap, he cried. Other animals tried to open it to get him out, but it was no use. Then a tiny voice above them in the trees said, Oh, that looks like the snappy 2000 trap system. It escaped from worse than that. The ones easy to get out of went to show you how it was their good friend raccoon. Yes, please, raccoon. Give us a hand, Wolf said. I don't want to be in here when the humans come back. Do you have any idea how to get me out of this annoying spider web? asked Moose. They turned around to see Moose walking toward them with a net tangled in his antlers and lots of branches sticking out of it. Moose, if you back down here, we can try to shoot through it, suggested Beaver. But Moose was too tall, even bending down on his knees. His antlers were too high in the air for Beaver or Wolf to reach. Moose turned his head to one side, and Wolf was just able to reach part of a net. Oh, he needs to stop it, that tickles stuff! Low mice had begun running up his leg, and were now chewing on the net with their low teeth. The net soon fell to the ground. What a relief! The animals were free once again. But how do we stop those humans? They obviously want to get rid of us, but that's not fair. This is our home, said Deer. What if we turn the tables on them, suggested Beaver. I wish we had a trap big enough for those pesky humans that would teach them a lesson. They shouldn't mess with us animals. Raccoon, this sounds like your area of expertise, said Wolf. Do you think we could build a trap to catch them? For sure, I've always wanted to see a human in a trap. That would be hilarious, trickled Raccoon. So the forest friends got to work. With Beaver's instructions, the forest animals began using branches and logs to create animal statues. They then placed them over the nets, which were lying on the ground. Moose used his strong antlers to bend down nearby trees, which they attached the nets, creating a spring trap. Once our trap was ready, they covered everything with the lathe of leaves to discuss it. They quickly ran through the forest and warned everyone to stay away from the trap. So the animals hid and waited to see what would happen when the humans arrived the next morning.